Oh, uh, every night. Every night. Well, that's now, welcome to the theater. Uh, it's yeah. actually the first theater in Israel. And why he built it? Why Herod built a theater here? Remember, he didn't build that city for the Jew. Then in that case, all the temples, all the temples that every pagan, every non-Jew needed was here. Then the theater was one of them. You can see the niches there. Then all the statues used to be there and people used to pray before they actually saw the comedy and the tragedy. Uh, but again, if you want to control someone, give, him, give them a little bit of fun. Let them take out all the misery that they had in their uh, early life. And a theater was only for the citizens. Then women were part of it. The ancient word, well, this word still is not really a uh, woman words, and we're here to change it. Until today, we're using it. Uh, today, it's kind of a status. If you are a good actor, if you are a good singer, and you actually book yourself a place here and you sold all the tickets, it means that you are one of the best. Uh, we do have a competition in Israel between Sephardic music and Ashkenaz music. Stay like that, stay like that with glasses. For the first time they will see me oh, without hat. Hey, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> then um, for the first, uh, there is kind of a competition. I don't know, do you know the Sephardic music, the Mizrahi? Yeah, you know it. All right, then it's a very, it's a competition between the Ashkenaz, the aristocrats, and the Sephardic Jews. And guess who's winning now? This is a, this is a, a country of it, but uh, but it's beautiful. The 